Bro, our accountants would kill us right now. Look at all this shit. How many of us does it take to actually have a car? Yes. Like new bone Tootsie Roll. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a pretty ambitious episode where I'm going to do my best to take you along for the ride while my Long Island one wheel crew heads up to Massachusetts, New Hampshire, and Rhode Island to check out the trails they have there and try our hand at their 2023 Beast Wheel Underground Racing segments. Down Sweet Fern. Massachusetts, the sun is shining. All right, so we made it to the trails. We think we parked at a parking lot for a bike path. And we're taking some fire roads, it looks like, to get us to the desert natural area. Fingers crossed, the sun is shining, hoping it's not too wet. We are here at this junction, so we're going to head down that way. With a trip like this, you're rolling the dice for the weather, and it had poured the day before. So we were thrilled to see the trails were dry enough to ride. Right. We out our first Massachusetts segment, Desert Dash. I'm right, going back to the beginning to run it for time. Well, those guys are going to run it for time. I'm just going to ride it again. Go play in mud. <laughs> you go play in mud. All right, guys. Look at him. Don't move me as fast, baby. Come on, man. The audio came out so good on this run, I'm just going to let you enjoy the sounds of the wheel. Throughout the trip, we spent a fair amount of time just navigating from one segment to the other. Here, we're looking for our second segment, Roller Coaster. We just get to the end, is that what you're saying? Yeah, it's funny tree. It's bad, we're walking. What kind of segment is this, Boston? <laughs> we have to make new segments just for when Boston comes. Oh, I went deep! <laughs> oh. <laughs> what you just heard there is my buddy Sean sinking deep into the mud as we navigate our way through this difficult section. Professional one-wheel rider moment coming up in three, two, one. I got yep. mud on my pants. And this is what we choose to do for fun. <laughs> it ain't good. And that's the end of, what is that called? A roller coaster, maybe. Ugh. So wet. Nat's gonna get us started on roller coaster here. Behind him, you'll see Patrick starting his run. We're staggering these starts so no one's too close to each other. Next up is my buddy Earl Fernandez, my oldest one wheel friend. And behind him, we've got Mo getting his run started. Next up is Nikki Martin, the fastest woman in the Northeast. And Nikki's followed up by Russ, her husband, throwing a little extra steez on there. That's why we call him Sensei. Last but not least, you'll see Sean Brown getting his run started, and then it's time for yours truly to enter the course. I'm not really racing, I'm just here to have a good time, but I got some footage so we can all enjoy the run. We got to know this section of fire road pretty well because this is how we got back to the beginning of the segment to loop it for multiple attempts. Nikki just loves a straightaway, look at her go. You can really see the evidence of the rain the day before on the fire road. It's quite a bit of standing water here. On your backside. Patrick. 
As we make our way down the fire road for one last time, we're starting to head back to the cars, and we've got a long day ahead of us still. This is only our first of two riding locations. We're gonna head back to the Airbnb, charge up these boards, and head out to the next spot to get a few more segments this afternoon. That was so much better. There's a path. On the way out, we didn't realize this path was there, so we rode down the highway a little bit to get to the trailhead. The path was much nicer. And hey, it's my awesome wife, who doesn't ride trails, but came along to support me. Hi, Hi. A few moments later. And here we are getting suited up for our second ride of the day, Plug Pond Recreational Area in Haverhill, Massachusetts. That's Adam from One Trick Wheel in front of me. Look at the skill, this guy just throws that board around. <laughs> puddle coming up, wait. Hold on, we'll try again after the puddle. Nikki trying to help me out here with the stick assist. <laughs> How could this be right? Oh. Russell! Check trail force! Let's just say that the route from the car to the trailhead wasn't simple at Plug Pond. Oh, here's a trail. We can take this trail. No, that's a different, I don't know if that applies. That not yeah, but I don't know if those directions apply to what we're doing. Huh. I mean, we're definitely going uphill, but right now this feels... That's true. It feels right. It's gonna be a rock wall, dog. Shoot a video and we'll we'll take a screen grab. Can you see the castle too? Eventually, as we always do, we found the trail and set out on our family run. The family run is our first walk through the trail. We tend to stay together. The pace is a little bit slower. It gives the racers an opportunity to see the course and me an opportunity to stop and smell the roses. I've never seen its equal. Look at this thing. Wow. Or mushrooms, as the case may be. Even though most of the group really came here to race, I'm not a racer, so my favorite parts of the trip were in between the racing segments when we just got to ride around together. It just felt like being on a group ride with my friends exploring trails in another state. For me, this is what one wheeling is all about. Now this might not seem like the most exciting footage, but if you ride one wheels and especially off road, you know that sometimes uphills can be a drag. You might see a few people carrying boards up here. Well, I'm on my custom built Vesk board. And the short version is, this is one of many hills that I was able to ride up, but there's no way I would have been able to ride on a GT. Nice. forgot to hit record. Of course, it doesn't fix all my problems. Too wet, that log is too wet. And who can resist a little pre-segment jump sesh? After our little jump sesh, we start the family run on the next segment. This way everyone has a chance to get to know the course and learn their lines before tackling it for time. <laughs> I'm taking my time at the beginning of the segment because it starts with a nice long downhill. You can tell from the motion blur in the frame that we're starting to lose the light. Things are getting darker as we're coming towards the end of our first full day of riding. Somebody got hurt here. Despite a challenging beginning where we had to work a little bit to find the start of the trails from the parking lot, there was a nice diversity of trails here and we really enjoyed Plug Pond Recreational Area. Everybody done? <laughs> yoo -hoo! Oh yeah, it's that upper parking lot, look at that. Yeah. <laughs> you know how they say it ain't over till it's over? Well, here we are just one bonk away from the parking lot. Aw, oh, thank you for taking the pressure off, Sensei. 
Apparently one bonk too many for yours truly. No, it's not poison ivy. Hey, it's Janet. She came back. <laughs> Janet was a great sport at this location. I had her move the car a couple of times because we weren't quite sure where we'd be coming back to. Back at the house, it's time for dinner with the fam and then a little needed downtime before the next day. Hi. All right, we're four minutes out, everyone. <laughs> we realized that if we got up early enough today, we could squeeze in all three locations before we head back to New York. So here we are at the trailhead early enough to ride, get back to the Airbnb and charge before we check out. Bad luck to clean these things. I never touched the board. <laughs> Yeah, I've been known to edit from time to time. We're kicking off the day at Nashua Dog Park, and as you're going to see, there's quite a bit of water on the ground. You might also notice that I'm riding my GT today. Not too bad. That's primarily because it's so wet, but also so I have a second board with a fresh battery because we're hitting three parks today. It's moody in here. Oh, this is wet too. We made it right, is that good? Uh, yeah, you're good. Should probably legit do a tick check after that when we get to a clearing. Yeah. Oh! And we should try to see if we can come back whatever that other trail was. Beautiful though. How could this be the wrong way? Are you sure we can't get there this way? It's all right. Who is Frank and why is this fun? It might just be that we don't know our way around, but it always felt like it took a little bit more work to get to the trails in Massachusetts. Frank's fun! Hillside burn. If you didn't catch it, this trail is called Frank's Fun, and it ended up being a lot of fun. This was definitely the highlight of Nashua Dog Park, at least for me. Frank's Fun. That's that's a good trail. That's great, right? Yeah. Frank what? Woo. Frank's Fun. Frank's Fun. Yeah. Frank's Fun. Yeah. Frank's Fun, baby. So, wait your left my <laughs> Nikki, you're having a day there. <laughs> Pearl, what do you got there? A little stick sandwich? <laughs> oh man, I want to so bad, but it's too risky. You can't do it. The, the downside's too high. There should be more bridges without bridges. Yeah. <laughs> Why is there always water under the bridges? Oh! Dude, it legit looks like a rainforest in here. I know, it looks really cool. Right? With a little bit of the morning mist. Yeah, it's beautiful. This is what we do for fun. <laughs> Are you having fun yet? Dirty girl. This is not exciting. Are you pumped? I am not. We're not going to really be able to cycle this like we did for Frank's fun, though. No, we won't. You might be able to tell that morale was dropping a little bit with all the mud and roots, but honestly, Wormhole, for me, was a lot of fun. Good. 
In the end, although conditions weren't ideal for racers trying to set fast times, I thought Nashua Dog Park offered some of the most scenic and beautiful riding we had the entire trip. That is always sketchy passing. If we make a left here and then the next right, Nashua Dog Park is pretty dope actually. There's some pretty good trails here. Yeah. And with that, it was time to head back to the Airbnb, get these boards charged up, pack up, and head off to the next location. Only Matt could get hit. Ah, the sound of fast chargers in the morning. What's Baby, up? You plug no. boards in? Thank God someone's hey, doing something. What's happening? The first thing you do is plug the boards in. I know. I Did didn't you? even think. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Nice. No, we have structure. Team, I, I'm so proud of you all. Thank we you. killed it this morning. Woo. Home stretch. Home stretch on the way to Rhode Island. All right, London Derry. It was real. That's it. But we out. Woo. And a short three-hour drive later, we arrived at Tarbox Pond in Rhode Island. One of the local riders, Mike D, was kind enough to come out and show us around. He took us to the two segments here, and then came with us to the next spot in Rhode Island and finished the last two segments there with us. Turtle! Little turtle guy! With Mike's help, we were able to quickly find our way to the first segment and start running times. The first segment here, called Out and Back, was a relatively fast and flowy trail, mostly downhill, and at times a little bit of a technical descent. It was a lot of fun. Yo, oh, man. That's a fun one. <laughs> definitely going back there. Oh, I got three one mil, so they need one each. <laughs> if any of this looks familiar, that's because it is. Due to our limited schedule and having to get to still a third location today, we weren't able to do the big loop back and had to just double back the way we came. I'm hoping that we could like. Oh, is that final right or is this the. This is the final right. Final right. Okay. It's the final right. The ride to the start of the next segment took us through some beautiful and twisty forest locations. This is my favorite part of one wheeling. No clock, no time, just a bunch of friends in the woods enjoying nature. and I managed to get some nice follow cam shots of Pat on the family run of the final segment here. And that's a wrap for Torbox Pond. There's plenty more to ride here, 
but we have to head off. We've got a half hour drive to our final location, the Ryan Park Trailhead in North Kingstown, Rhode Island. And we have just enough time for some parking lot shenanigans while we finish topping off a couple of boards with the external battery bank that Mike D was kind enough to bring. I barely use battery. It's a big straightaway. Going back, but it's, I, it doesn't look too hard to do. Yeah. Oh no! The first segment that we're going to run at this location is called Deer Run. The scenery on the way out to the start reminds me a lot of a place called Overton that we ride a lot back home. Lots of opportunities. Oh yeah. What's Russell doing? Lots of opportunities. Alright, well this is our last destination of the trip. This one's called Pumper. It's a little pump track. Ryan Park, Rhode Island. Oh, here we go. This segment called Pumper was easily my favorite segment of the entire trip. I'm so glad we got to squeeze this one in. It's a short little rip, only about a minute from start to finish, and it comes right back to the beginning at the end, so you can just loop it over and over again. Well, there we go. We got all 10 segments in two days. <laughs> Ten segments, five locations in two days. And, and we now have first place and a couple other things. Yeah, yeah, yeah you do. <laughs> well, at this point in the day, we've been up for about 12 and a half hours. We've ridden on six different segments in three completely different locations across two different states, separated by about four and a half hours of drive time. We decided a bunch of us would take the ferry home so we'd save on the drive all the way back around Long Island towards the city. And here we are getting ready for a nice leisurely cruise across the sound. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. Looking back, it's hard to believe this was just a two-day trip. We packed so much into those two days. We had so much fun, did a ton of great riding, and I really couldn't ask for a better group of people to share it with. Finally, I have to give a special thanks to my amazing wife and partner in life, who even though she doesn't ride one wheels, came with me on this ridiculous trip. Everything I do is more fun with her. I love you, so, Bill. Back on Long Island. Orient Point State Park. About an hour and 10 minutes to home, but we cut out a lot of tough driving. This should be a nice, easy drive. What a great trip. That was really cool. Lots of firsts and a big adventure. Well, if you made it this far in the video, thanks so much for watching. Leave a comment. Let me know that you made it to the end and maybe consider subscribing to the channel. I post sporadically with videos of all kinds of adventures I get into with my wife, my friends, one wheels, EUCs, and kiteboarding. I hope you all have a great day and remember, keep riding.